I found myself up to my neck in the war before I knew it. Before I saw it coming. I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the water guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away, me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood, to defend the guild. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero. It makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. Herded like cattle by overzealous officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me, off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade, and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt, but I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Prisoners to Camp 19. Get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. Keep moving. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a bunk. Now, get going. Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. Get a load of these fellas. Fresh meat. Uh, it just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. <gasps> yeah, you got a new pretty mouth. <laughs> What do you want? 
care got your tongue? What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase. Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you'll get in here. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Don't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. What's that? Speak up. Nobody can understand your squeaking, boy. We want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. Uh, huh. What are you, insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't want to catch what he's got. Hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. And uh, what makes you think I'm not just a better looking fatso? You give your trust too easily. It's a bad habit if you want to stay alive in here. I... Uh, to, to me, you're nothing like that guy. Maybe, but that doesn't make me a fucking saint either. You give your trust pretty easily. That's a bad habit, especially around here. Come on, let's go. If we stay here, we're just asking for trouble. Uh, I'm leaving now. is finished, I'll never be able to fix it here. And they'll never change it. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Did you have fun? I hope she's still wet, because I'm going to ride her hard. Been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy, but even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, we've decided we'll show you how to close it. Right, time to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. Shit! A little 
worms. You looking to get roasted or what? Take these wrecks to the infirmary. They nearly got killed. <laughs> It's the same thing. Every time we get new arrivals, always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. You... You, you could have killed them. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name's Roy. And yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but I chose Roy. Those virtue names aren't really my thing. Oh, okay. I guess Temperance doesn't fit. Yeah, let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay, I'm right behind you. <laughs> 